John from Superbase here. Uh, I was watching the Learn With Jason stream from earlier today. If you don't know who Jason is or what Learn With Jason is, make sure you check out learnwithjason.dev. Uh, it's Jason Langstorff from Netlify, and he builds something awesome each week, uh, usually with a super interesting guest that you probably want to hear from. Uh, so I was watching uh, one that went live on YouTube today, which is this Let's Play With Real Time stream. Um, and in this, Jason was building an application using Superbase. And basically, uh, the idea behind the application is that you can, as a conference speaker or someone presenting in a meeting or something like that, um, you can collect the sentiment of the audience in real time. So basically, they can click a little smiley face or a sad face, um, and they would update in real time, showing you kind of a summary of whether the audience is on your side or completely against you. Uh, so this is an awesome use case for uh, for real time and also just a super cool application. So I wanted to uh, jump in and give some suggestions as to how to uh, get the last little bit of this implemented due to the speed that Jason needs to build these things uh, on the stream. Uh, we didn't quite get to the point where we had events properly being published from Superbase through to the UI. So I wanted to uh, record this quick video just to go through uh, the very small few things we need to do to fix that up and also just some tips for uh, improvements along the way that I noticed. So. Uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So here I have the repo for this project. So it's at uh, jlangstorff slash realtime talks. I'll make sure that this is in the description of the video for easy clickings. Um, but if we have a look at this application, um, it is a NX application, which is um, a, a project that helps you manage your mono repos. So basically just multiple applications running under one, uh, one GitHub repo. So if I go into apps, I can see that we've got main talk and we've got second screen. These are our two separate applications. Um, and so I've actually pulled this down locally. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the main app that I have open here. So if I collapse this back down, we're in apps, main talk, source, app, uh, and then app.tsx. So firstly, we've got a little bit of red, but we're just gonna ignore that because this isn't the TypeScript stream. This is the real-time talk stream with JSON and, and Superbase. We, we don't need to worry about TypeScript. So uh, if we come down here, we've got this subscription. So this is what is actually kind of doing the magic here. So um, basically any uh, insert on any table, um, this function here is going to be called. And so here we're just console logging out the payload. Um, and so this this part didn't actually work on the stream, and it's not anything to do with what um, is missing in the code. It's actually a setting in Superbase. So if we head over to uh, our Superbase dashboard, um, I've just opened up a, a random application, uh, a random example application that I've got on my side. But um, yeah, if you if you go to your uh, Superbase project and then go over to database and then over here to replication. Um, and then if we click this zero tables part, we can either enable uh, replication for all tables or we can enable it for a specific table. Um, so this will list your tables. So in Jason's case, this would list the sentiment table um, and then we would enable uh, the replication on the sentiment table. And so this is, uh, this is the setting that then tells Superbase to publish all of those events. So this is the only tick box that, or the, the only uh, radio button switch that would have needed to be clicked and then all of the events would have would have come through to the front end um, and worked the way that I think Jason was intending. And so now if I come back to the application, uh, I don't actually have a way to test this because I don't have access to Jason's repo to, uh, to tick that box. But let's just assume this is working. Uh, so what else can we fix up about this application? Well, one of the things that Jason mentioned in the stream is that this is creating a subscription, but it's not doing any cleanup. Um, and so to be a good citizen, we should be returning an arrow function um, to clean up anything that happens in our use effect. Uh, and so in here we can call superbase.remove subscription. And then we can just pass it the subscription that we've created here. So in this case, my subscription, uh, and this will do all of that magic cleanup stuff for you. Uh, the other kind of small optimization here is that at the moment we are subscribed to uh, insert events from any table. So this star means any any table in our database, we want to uh, listen to uh, changes or listen to insert events on all of those tables. Now, again, in Jason's case, this is only, uh, this, this database only has one table. So uh, this optimization doesn't really matter, but uh, it's best practice to specify the table that you actually want to subscribe to changes from. So in this case, sentiment, 
so then if JSON did happen to create a bunch of tables down the track, um, this uh, subscription isn't also subscribed to those random changes that this page doesn't actually need to know about. Uh, cool. And so now, uh, yeah, when inserts, oh, so when a new row is inserted into the sentiment table, uh, this function is going to be called and print out that payload. And then the rest of this is all good. Uh, yeah, I think Jason's going to keep working on actually making this work. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to look at is in the other application. So this was main talk. Uh, the other one is second screen. So the idea would be main talk uh, would be showing the actual uh, live updated sentiment of, uh, of, of people's reactions or people's um, clicking whether they agree or disagree. So showing the sentiment of the audience. Um, and then this second screen would be the actual, uh, the users or the, sorry, the audience, what they would see on their screen. So they would be able to see uh, a little, if we scroll down here, uh, they would just be able to see a little form with two buttons uh, and they can either click the smiley face for good or the sad face for bad, or I think it's an angry face. Yeah, there we go. A, a yum face for good and an angry face for bad. So this app obviously needs to know uh, who the user is that's signed in. Um, so Jason has done that here. So we've got um, a use state variable for our user. Um, and then we've got this async function where we're signing in with GitHub. Um, annoyingly with Superbase, uh, when you have the provider set to any of the third party providers, so GitHub or uh, Google or um, Spotify or any of those things, uh, we don't actually get a user or a session back because it's going off a different OAuth flow um, that doesn't actually give us those back at the time. Uh, we probably do want to know about the error. Um, and so here, I think this is a, a relic of, of the logic that was here before. This isn't actually uh, doing anything because we don't have any statements under the return. Um, but here is where we would say, if, uh, if we have an error, then maybe we just want to console log out error dot message. And then down here in our use effect, um, we're calling this load user function, which is setting our user to be superbase.auth.user and setting the user. This function will work well um, if the user signs in and then refreshes the page, this logic will run again. Um, but if they were to stay on the same page and click sign in, um, because the state of the user has changed, but uh, React doesn't actually know that, um, this wouldn't this this load user user function wouldn't actually run again. Um, so the way that we fix this is we we can leave this this bit here, um, and then maybe before we call our load user function, uh, we can say superbase dot auth dot on auth state change. Um, so this is a special function that's called by Superbase anytime the state of our of our user changes or anytime the state of our auth changes. Um, so basically, if the user is signing in or signing out, um, we or, and so we give this a function to call, um, and this automatically gets passed the event and also the session by Superbase. So the event has uh, whether the user is signing in or signing out, and the session has the information about our new session if the user is signing in or it just has undefined if they're logging out because obviously they don't have a valid session anymore. So we just want to call set user again, and we want to set this to our session.user, um, but we not, might not actually have a dot .user because as I just said, session would be set to undefined um, if the user is signing out. So we can use optional chaining here to say dig into the user if it's there, uh, but otherwise we just want to set this to null. And I think we're also just missing a dependency array here to say when to run it. So now this will just run uh, on the load of our application. Uh, we will call load user, um, or actually if we go one step further back, and so when we first create um, this user state variable, it's going to be set to undefined. And then when our application has loaded in the browser, um, this use effect is going to be called uh, that's going to call our load user function, which is going to grab our user from superbase.auth.user. And so if our user has signed in previously, this will be set to our user, and then we'll just call set user uh, with that user object. Um, otherwise, this will be undefined, um, and so we'll again be setting user to undefined. And then uh, when the user actually clicks that sign in button, then their state, their auth state changes. And so this on auth state hook is called. Uh, which is going to call this function and give us the event and the new session for our user. And then we're setting the user to be our session.user object. 
And again, if they're, if they're logging out, then this on auth state change function is getting called again um, and session will be set to undefined. And so uh, our user will be set to null. And that's it. So now if we don't have a user, then the user is gonna get this sign in with GitHub button. Uh, otherwise we've got this create vote function um, which is going to be triggered by the form. So the so either the user will see this sign in button or if they are currently signed in, then they'll see this form uh, where they're able to create a vote. So either they can click the good button or the bad button. Uh, that's going to call this function to create a vote, uh, which is calling superbase.fromsentiment. So basically uh, we want to insert into the sentiment uh, table this object. Uh, so since we're just passing across one um, object, we can actually get rid of the array. Um, so Superbase, if you're, you can call insert with either a single object and we'll just insert one row, uh, or you can insert with a collection by using an array. Um, but yeah, since this is just one, we can get rid of that uh, array bit. So we just have our object. And so we're setting the value column to be the string good. And we're setting our user ID to be our currently logged in user. And so they'll never be able to get to this section uh, if they are not signed in, because up here we have that guard to make sure that we have a user uh, before doing any of this stuff. And so we can at least test uh, this part is working because we don't need access to Jason, Jason's Superbase instance. Uh, so if I come over to here, um, I have installed uh, NX, so I've done uh, npm install dash G NX. And then uh, actually, what is the command to uh, run this? Is Jason a good citizen or a not good citizen? Uh, oh, mm, uh, ah, Jason is a very, very good citizen. Good job, Jason. Uh, so I guess I need this NX serve my app. Um, so if I come here and say NX serve, and then it's not called my app, it's called uh, second screen, I guess is uh, one of them. We do not have any NX modules. Um, so let's CD into, uh, well, actually what's, what does this folder structure look like? So CD into apps and then uh, CD into second screen. And then I'm just going to install the dependencies here. And then while we're at it, I might change up to main talk and install those dependencies. And now if I go back to that root directory, um, so where I can see my apps folder, and then I run that same uh, NX serve second screen, I can then copy this uh, localhost over port uh, 4200 and bring it over to my browser. And then I'm seeing that sign in button, which is good. Uh, if I click that, um, I think I've already given, yeah, I've already authorized GitHub to, to use this. So it's, it's just gone through that auth flow, but you may uh, be presented with a authorized with GitHub uh, um, uh, modal or page that you need to click authorize for and then you'll get redirected to here and you'll see that that form has been swapped out for this sentiment form. And so I can say, I definitely feel very yummy about this nonsense. So uh, yeah, I can't actually check that that's gone into uh, into Jason's database. So I'm just gonna click that a few more times. So he, he sees a few, few rows and panics that someone's hacked in, um, but yeah, we can't actually check that that works. So, you know, let us know Jason, if that didn't work. Uh, unfortunately, I can't actually test the real-time stuff because uh, I don't have access to enable that. Um, but yeah, I'll let him know to to fix that up in the follow-up stream. So just to quickly recap, to get real-time working, uh, we need to go into our Superbase project and go to database replication, um, and then we'll see this. We'll click uh, either zero tables or whatever whatever this says here for source. Um, and then we can enable any of the tables that we want to subscribe to real-time events for. And then that is going to fix up our subscription here. Um, and so then this subscription will be working. We will be uh, subscribed to any insert events on the sentiment table. And then when that happens, we will call uh, this function, which is just going to print out the payload. Um, so the payload here will just contain uh, the Superbase real-time payload. Uh, which is just set to any anyway. Um, but this will just contain um, what the new record that's been inserted into the database is. Um, and so this is where we would be able to update um, the, the sentiment live in our application to show uh, that changing based on every um, new sentiment that we have inserted into our database. 
And then over in our second screen application, uh, we have fixed up our sign-in logic just so we're using that on auth state change hook, uh, which is called anytime our user logs in or logs out. We're then setting the user to be whatever that is, um, and then either displaying the sign-in with GitHub or allowing them to insert a new sentiment into our database. Awesome. So if you enjoyed this, I recommend you go check out Superbase, go build some cool real-time stuff. Uh, come give me a follow on Twitter and let me know what you're building. I'd love to hear about it. See ya.